President Joe Biden signed the American Rescue Plan Act in March. And since then, Oklahoma state government, counties, all the way to the small cities have been waiting for their part of the $3.2 billion investment that some say could remake entire communities. This gives us an opportunity that we've never had before in Cleveland County. It is unprecedented the amount of dollars that will be coming to our community, to our county, and give us the ability to take a step forward in doing many things that we have never done before. The state's smaller cities did not receive CARES Act money directly last year. Instead, it went to the state. The governor's office decided where it was spent. Under ARPA, communities of all sizes are guaranteed a specific amount of money with few restrictions on its use. Money will allow them to offset sales tax losses or build infrastructure from sewer and water pipes to better broadband. But it is early. We're still in the process of uh, getting information together and uh, compiling that. We will come up with a set of objectives based on uh, those stakeholder meetings and the uh, online surveys so that we can best uh, come up with a plan of how we're going to direct these dollars. As for how ARPA compares to the CARES Act and its tight focus on COVID. I think that this is an unprecedented opportunity for communities to not only recover from the pandemic, to plan how they will deal with them in the future as well. So I would personally say that uh, economic uh, stimulation, recovery, is directly tied to COVID. The Oklahoma Municipal League is overseeing applications for everyone but state government, and it's fitting because ARPA is largely focused on cities of all sizes. It's just that it was written more for, for municipal type projects. So that's really, I think, the big difference in the two uh, is that it, it just focused on the community and really dollars at the ground level. He says the state now has a surplus of PPE and the money can't be spent on roads, shoring up pensions or cutting taxes. Otherwise, it's fair game. Water and wastewater is, I think, where you'll see the majority of the municipal dollars spent. Fina suggests looking at the bill's infrastructure focus as an extension of public health. It actually is not that far of a stretch because this is a public health bill at, it, at its foundation. And water and wastewater are, are, the, are actually the foundations of, of public health. Uh, without a great water system, out sanitary sewer system, uh, just imagine what the quality of life of Oklahomans would be. So I, I do look at those as public health issues. He calls the money potentially transformative. This is more money than we'll probably ever see again uh, that will flow to the entire state. And what we have been encouraging them to is to look at it at a way to, to really make a change in their communities. Communities have through 2024 to claim these ARPA funds and through 2026 to spend the money.